This story is not unique in East Africa. The region often faces multiple hazards at the same time. The region is disaster-prone and vulnerable to extreme conditions like droughts, floods, pandemics and outbreaks like the desert locust. Climate change is making the situation worse, bringing more frequent extreme events to East Africa. Over 60% of people depend on agriculture. For their harvest to succeed, the right amount of rain needs to fall. Not too much or too little. It is a challenge to cope with excessive shortages or affluence, especially if the area you live in is vulnerable to disasters and there is little to no coping capacity. In the past, responses to these disasters were mostly focused on solving the crisis after an event like this would happen, rather than trying to prevent the impact of a disaster. To reduce impact of disasters, EGAD Disaster Risk Management Program focuses on changing the way of thinking, from reactive to proactive. EGAD stands for Intergovernmental Authority on Development and has eight member states. EGAD strives to bring peace and security, promote regional integration and development in the East African region. The EGAD Disaster Risk Management Strategy is aligned to the Global Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction and the Continental DRR Targets. The framework identifies four key priorities. Understanding disaster risks, strengthening disaster governance, promoting investment on disaster risk reduction for building resilience, and preparedness for response and building back better. With more resilience, countries can be prepared better and recover fast from the impacts of the extreme disaster events. EGAD started in the 80s, initially to tackle problems on extreme drought and desertification. The agenda was expanded in the 90s to combat a larger set of development challenges in the region. EGAD realizes that there is an underlying problem to solve. Understanding the issue and making adequate arrangements to cope with disasters is something which has not settled on the agendas of decision makers. Under EGAD's Disaster Risk Management Program, the organization aims to increase risk knowledge, risk governance, investments on disaster risk reduction, and preparedness for response. The main objective of the Disaster Risk Management Program is to save lives and livelihoods in the EGAD region. The program has been working to move away from humanitarian basis and institutionalize it in all the member states. It is now institutionalized both at the regional level and at the member states level by developing policies and strategies emphasizing the prevention aspect to disaster. There is a strong belief now that if you invest one dollar today, it will save you seven dollars during response. It also protects economic growth. It is also important to promote community-based disaster risk management. After all, it is a community who is affected by disasters by promoting climate smart agriculture, diversifying their livelihood so that they can withstand and develop their resilience to disaster. 
The main challenges in disaster risk management that we have been facing is inadequate capacity to respond quickly and promptly to disaster when it happens. So we will try to advocate, mobilize and avail resources to address these issues. The other one is balancing between humanitarian response and development approach to disasters. We will strongly advocate and lobby that disaster risk management is a development agenda rather than a humanitarian and at the same time undertaking to set up a multi-hazard early warning system. Atiga Climate Prediction and Application Centre, or ICPAC, climate services and applications are offered to the region, like monitoring and forecasting weather and climate over the Greater Horn of Africa region. Early warning is, is a fundamental thing to build a resilience for weather-related disasters. Without early warning, uh, people would be at the vagaries of, of weather. That early warning system needs a strong connection with early action. And that's where the region needs to improve, on the early action. I think the region needs more of a collaboration in weather, uh, climate monitoring, and uh, climate forecasting, because uh, climate doesn't stop at the border. We share the same environment. Most of the border area within uh, the region are the same ecosystems. We need to look things uh, regionally, take the bigger picture. The capacities of governments in the region are strengthened by sharing experiences and trainings to develop new policies and strategies. Increased capacity leads to the ability to prepare for and deal with disaster risks. Partnerships with EU, UN, ACP, World Bank and other development organisations lead to increased activities and impact in the region. We serve 11 countries in the Greater Horn of Africa a region, uh, from the north to Sudan to south uh, to Tanzania. We do uh, climate uh, monitoring and forecasting from the old time skills. We produce uh, uh, advisory long term on the seasonal and we produce alerts. Kenya Red Cross and IGAD made a strong partnership uh, due to their mutual objective on disaster risk management. These are strategies that are employed to help uh, community members adapt, mitigate and prevent the occurrence of disasters before they even take place. Kenya Red Cross is a workshop by Nordic Day. Okay, workshop by Nordic Day by Nordic Day. Okay, workshop by Nordic Day. Thanks 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 by Nordic Day. And see the horror, ma'ha. Had the worker start of fair, and can help her no one can say. Marka, we have a fair, the care in one granana. We have the fair, and the cassarti fair, and the care in the fair, and the Ilmoku Bill and Karma, or Hola Kagan Karma, or Dunkar and Kapsan Karma, and Miss Kulkar Bekarma, Duxi and Kalab Bekarma, one granana, and the Mirt had the Mirti Labura, say Ukarafa is a lay, had the one barano and Cassano. Marka had the جيلال كيف حل أورنا في وقت الرابك مارت مركي أدبية هاي ستت مرت الأورة مد مارك السوق له مد فائدة عن لهن أدب أمك القصة إن هذا وحكسر أمام برنا. The project has improved the community members' livelihoods through the improved nutritional value due to the fact that they now have variety of food in their food basket. It has also uh, increased the uh, income through the sale of, the, of their farm produce and through the formation of cooperatives they now have a, a stronger market linkages for their farm produce. We have had many landslides in the area we are staying in. The community have lost their food, they have lost their land. When we plant grass and trees it holds the soil so that the land cannot since we began planting trees, we have seen the riverbank 
being restored, there have been more animals like snakes, lizards coming back into the, the bush we have planted. And uh, for members who have given us their land, they have been able to sell the grass and feed their animals and even picking, getting firewood. That's Roughly, okay. we have planted about 12,000 trees. We are hoping to get a bright future if we increase the area coverage and if we got some support in terms of more supply of trees and also support from our government, we can increase the area coverage and people can, they can live a better life. Extreme weather will be a recurring event and with climate change still being on the rise, the Igad region will remain vulnerable for risks. This will not likely change. Though what we can change is how we prepare ourselves to reduce vulnerability and build coping capacity. By building flood preventions, send out early warnings so that communities can prepare and governments can respond in time. By increased awareness and knowledge. The strategic achievement of this partnership are twofold. On one side, we have the institutional strengthening and ownership side, where we see that uh, this project and the funding has led definitely to a stronger ownership, not only in IGAD, but in its member states, in terms of more willingness to, to fund positions for disaster and climate resilience, which is a good thing. On the other side, there is definitely the, the technical achievements of the project where this has enabled IGAD to undertake uh, disaster and climate uh, technical work on uh, flood management strategy, on drought management strategy, locust management, on mainstreaming disaster risk management in school curricula, on gender mainstreaming, uh, on risk assessment and risk atlas for the region. So the European Union and the World Bank joined hands and provided this support to EGAD. And this work that is being done to support EGAD and other regional economic commissions in, in Africa for disaster and climate resilience is going to be taken to the next level, is going to be scaled up so that the eventual objective can be achieved. The eventual objective is to have self-sufficiency in terms of capacity and resources. And we think that another round of funding, uh, which the European Union has very kindly assured, is going to go a long way in achieving the goal of, of making this self-standing and sustainable. Join partners like the EU, ACP and the World Bank and invest in disaster risk management so that we can reshape risks into opportunities for better lives in the EGAD region. <laughs>